DM Science and Plants World presents about the primary structure of dicot stem. Example for dicot is sunflower. The transverse section of sunflower, that is, TS of sunflower stem, reveals about the regions like epidermis, cortex, and stellar region. Epidermis. Epidermis is the outermost layer of stem which performs the protection function. Here in the picture you can find the green colored single layer of cells that is the epidermis which are made up of parenchymatous rectangular shaped cells and this layer is compactly arranged without any intracellular space. Here you can't find any space between the two cells. The outer wall of epidermal cells has a single layer which is called a cuticle and this cuticle helps to limit the transpiration rate. Transpiration is a process of loss of excess water from the plant body. The cuticle is made up of an waxy substance called cutin and this epidermis layer is interrupted here and there due to the presence of stomata. Stomata possess the god cells and which is surrounded by the epidermal cells. The stomata plays an important role in gaseous exchange. The epidermal cells are living as I said before in the videos we already discussed that parenchyma cells and coronchyma cells are living in nature. Only the sclerenchyma cells are dead cells. So to find the links of parenchyma, coronchyma and sclerenchyma do check the description box. Here the epidermal cells possess the parenchymatous cells which are living in nature and here the chloroplast is completely absent. Chloroplast is a cell organelle which is responsible for the photosynthesis process and the epidermis possesses the multicellular hair outgrowth. So here you can find the multicellular outgrowth from the epidermis cortex. Exactly below the epidermis cortex region lies in three different zones. Here you can find in three different colors like orange, green and yellow which includes in the portion of cortex. So below the epidermis cholangyma cells present which has the thickening at the corners and it offers the mechanical strength to the stem and this layer is called hypodermis. Inner to the hypodermis you can find the green colored cells with dot like structures that is called the chlorangyma and the dot like structures represents the chloroplast a cell organelle re responsible for the photosynthesis process. Along with this chlorangyma you can also find the resin duct and this is the second zone. The third zone is made up of parenchyma cells which helps to store the food material. So inner to the cortex region the endodermis cells present and the cells are barrel shaped it also found compactly without any intracellular space. This endodermis cells also store the starch grains. In the cell you can find the dot like structures which is the starch grains. So it is also called as starch sheath. It is similar to the morphology of endodermis layer or cells that found in the root. In most of the dicot, the Casparian strips is absent which usually found in the endodermis layer. Inner to the endodermis, the stellar region is present which includes the pericycle, vascular bundle and pith. In dicot stem, the vascular bundle arranged in ring like structure around the pith. The blue colored cells are the pith cells. And this type of arrangement is called eustele. Pericycle. Pericycle is a layer of cells that occur in between the endodermis and vascular bundle. In the stem of sunflower, few layer of sclerenchyma cells occur in patch outside the phloem. Here in pink colored structure you can find the sclerenchyma cells which are the dead cells that found uh, uh, outer to the phloem particularly out to the primary phloem, you can see in the picture, in a vascular bundle, 
That patch of sclerangyma cells are known as bundle cap or hard bust. The bundle cap, in between the bundle cap and parangyma cells, you can find the pericycle. Vascular bundle contains xylem, phloem and cambium. Xylem and phloem in the stem occur together in the vascular bundle and forms the, that means it forms the vascular bundle. The vascular bundle is wedge shaped whereas in monocot the vascular bundle is skull shaped. As I said before, around the pith the vascular bundle arranged in a ring like manner. The vascular bundle is conjoint, collateral, open and endark. That means conjoint means the origin of xylem and phloem at the same radius. Collateral means the phloem is somewhat outer to the xylem. Open means if the vascular bundle containing the cambium cells then those vascular bundle are referred as open. End dark means the presence of metaxylem towards the peripheral region and the protoxylem towards the inner side of the stem means that is towards the pith means it is referred as end dark vascular bundle. In the picture here this is the bundle cap or hard bust. Below to this you can find the primary phloem which is polygonal in shape. Below to that one you can find the cambium cells. Cambium cells. The para, uh, phloem contains protofloem and metafloem. Phloem also contains the CU tubes, companion cells, phloem parangyma. Here phloem fibers is completely absent in the primary phloem. Phloem contact food material from the leaves to other part of the plant body. Cambium. The cambium consists of brick-shaped thin-walled meristematic cells. This is the cambium cells and it occurs in 2 to 3 layer thickness. These cells are capable of forming new cells during the secondary growth. Already we discussed that meristematic cells are, has the capacity to divide continuously without any interruption. Xylem. This yellow colored cells are called xylem. Xylem contains xylem fibers, xylem parangyma, vessels and tracheids. The vessels are thick walled and arranged in few rows. Xylem conduct water and minerals from root portion to other part of the plant. Whereas the phloem used to transfer food from leaf to other part of the body, plant body. Whereas xylem used to conduct or transfer water and mineral from root portion to the rest of the plant body. Pith. The pith is the large central portion of the stem and it is composed of parangyma cells with lot of intracellular space. This is blue colored cells are called parangyma cells uh, that is denoted as pith. Here you can find the intracellular space in between the two cells and pith is also known as medulla. The pith extend between the bun vascular bundle is called primary pith rays or primary medullary rays. This is the primary medullary rays. The pith plays a role in storage of food material. So this large sized xylem is called metaxylem and the small sized xylem is called protoxylem. So this is about the transverse section of dicot stem sunflower. Thank you so much for watching.